the Google Classroom. So hopefully you all made it through step nine yesterday, which was really just to get ready for today. So your cube should be ready to roll like that. If at any point today you're confused or you have questions, just type in the chat box because I have a second computer here and I can see and I'll stop and answer whatever questions you have. All right. So now we're ready to start kind of building our um, picture. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to regroup all of the pieces together. So you're going to go back to your main slide. And I'm going to delete this box, text box, because we don't need it anymore. And you need to regroup these three pieces. So I'm going to click with my mouse somewhere near my cube and I'm going to drag and I'm going to select all three of them. And then I'm going to go back to arrange and group them again so that I can click the whole thing together and move it. Okay. So what I did is I clicked next to my cube and I selected all of it and I went to arrange and I went to group. Okay. And the reason you're doing that is because now we need to copy and paste it a lot of times in order to get this to work. So you're going to make a row at the top of five of these hexagons all the way across. So you can do that one of two ways. You can do it one at a time if you want. So you can select it. You can go to copy under edit and then you can paste it one at a time. Okay, like this. Or once you've already pasted one, if you want to click next to it again and drag and select both of them, you can go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste. You can paste two at the same time so that you don't have to keep doing that over and over. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay, and you all know the shortcut on your keyboard for copy and pasting? Or do I need to tell you that? Do I need to tell you that? Yeah, she knows. Okay, if you click Control and V, that paste. So I'm just gonna select one again, and I'm gonna click Control C, and then I'm gonna click Control V four to paste because we only need one more. I don't know why I did two. Okay, so you're gonna make a row of five at the top. Okay, pretty easy, I hope. Selecting. So that is your first step for today on step ten is to make a row at the top of five. Does anyone have questions about that before I move on? Yes. Okay, so the next step is that you're gonna do the second row and you're gonna have four this time. So you can select four at a time by holding the shift key. So if I go up here and I click shift and then I click one at a time, I can select four at a time. And then I can copy. Okay, and then I can paste four at a time. And then I just kind of insert that onto the next row like a puzzle. So that'll go right in the middle right there. Do you want me to do that again? Does anyone want me to do that again before I move on to the next step? So I clicked shift. And then if you click shift, you can select as many as you want at a time and copy it. Okay, so that is step 11, is to get your second row done. To get your second row four, and then slid up in there. Yes, who has a question? Um, how do you um, copy one of them again? Um, just to copy one, you just click on one, and you can go to edit and copy, and then you can go, Command V. So if I were to just click edit, paste, see how it tells you to do Command V for paste. Command is right next, well, I, I have a laptop, but Command V will paste for you. So that's just one. But for you guys, it's control, I believe, on your Chromebooks. 
okay? So that's the second one. So then you're gonna kind of just keep repeating that same thing. So step 12 is then you're gonna make the next row of five again. So you're gonna go back and I'm gonna use shift again. I'm gonna click shift and I'm gonna select the whole top row. And I'm gonna go to copy. I'm gonna paste it and then I'm just gonna insert my next row. Okay, so that is step 12. Step 13 is to do a row of four again. So that's your last row. So now I'm gonna make a row of four again. So now I'm going to select this row. So I'm gonna click shift, select four of them, go edit, copy, I'm gonna paste it, and then that's gonna be my last row. Okay, so you're gonna have four different rows and now we have to kind of fill in all this extra space. Questions about that before I move on? Any questions about that? Okay, so now we have to add on all this extra space. So you're gonna find shape A, which is this bottom triangle we're gonna to use to fill in the bottom area. That's step 14. So if I go back to my slide, shape A is this triangle, and it says it needs to be a medium value. So my medium value would be this top color right here. So I need to make it that red color. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm gonna to go to edit, copy, and I'm gonna paste it. And then you're gonna insert it along the bottom to fill in all these negative spaces at the bottom. So that gives the illusion that there's another cube there. And you're gonna do that five times. Questions about that from anyone? Okay, so that is step 14, is to insert the bottom row. Step 15 is you're gonna select this rhombus that is shape B and we're gonna put that on the side. So it looks like you're only gonna do it two times along the side right here. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find shape B, which is this rhombus and I need to make it my shade. So there's that and I need to make it the dark shade that I have. And I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste it twice. So it looks like it goes right here. And it goes right here. So that's two times. So that was step 15. Everyone good on step 15? Step 16 is another rhombus, but it's on the other side and it looks like it's, a, it's the tint. So that's shape C, and you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna to go to the other side. So here's my other rhombus, and I need to make it the tint first. So I have to change the color, and I'm gonna copy and paste it two times, but on the other side. right there. And I kind of have a little gap. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Don't freak out too much if you have like a little space here or if it's hanging off a little here. You can go back and tweak that later. I'm not even going to worry about it, to be honest. Okay, so that was step 13, right? No, that was step 16. Step 17 is to fill in the little spaces that the rhombus did not fill. So now we're on shape D. Shape D, which is a triangle and it says it's the medium tone and we're gonna paste it four times it says. Okay, shape D right here needs to be the medium tone, which is just the normal red. So I need to change that and I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to fill it in here. Okay. 
and I'm going to fill it in here. Okay, but if you'll see, that doesn't fit. So, do you guys see this little uh, circle right here on the edge? That's how you can rotate it. So you see it's rotating my triangle for me. So you can get it to rotate to fit where you need it to go. So I'm just gonna copy that since I already changed it the way I wanted it and I'm gonna paste it. So once again, there's a little circle at the end right here where if you select it with your mouse, you can change the way that the circle's facing or the triangle's facing. Ooh, didn't mean to reshape it. Okay, and that's gonna go there. So that's four times. I'm guessing that that was the next step. Okay, so that triangle got pasted four times, so now we have everything except the top part done. Yep, shape 18 is showing you how to change it so that you can fit it right there. Step 19 is telling you to put the triangles at the top. So now we're looking for shape E, which is going to be a shade, and you're gonna copy and paste it four times. I'm sorry, five times at the top. So that's shape E. And it needs to be a shade. So I'm gonna make it the dark red. And I'm gonna copy and paste it five times. not getting too particular with how I'm placing these just because I'm doing this with you guys but if you guys want to see how I'm kind of off you guys will take your time more than I am right now and if you click view you can zoom in even closer so that you can really see how close see like I'm off right here but you guys can go in and zoom in and really make that look a little bit nicer than I'm doing right now Okay, so it looks like we just have one left, which would be step 20, which is shape F. And you're gonna put that on the other side. So that's gonna be your light tone or your tint. So that's shape F, which is right here. So I need to make it my tint. And I'm gonna copy and paste it. Onto the other side. Once again, you guys will make it look nicer. Mine are off, but. So as you can see, this could take you a while. So that's why I'm thinking we will probably work on this today and we'll probably finish it on Monday. Okay. So the thing it says when you're done is that it would like you to insert a text box at the bottom so that you can kind of sign your artwork. So if you don't know how to insert a text box, you just go up here to insert and you click text box and you just kind of drag and click and start typing. If you want to change the color of your font, you just go up here to where the A is and you can change the color. So maybe I'll make it white and then I'll make my name. Okay. And then you can drag it wherever you want. Okay. So that's kind of as far as I'm gonna stop, get you through today, but I was kind of thinking we would work on that today and then finish it up on Monday. Sound good? What questions do you have for me about that? Riley, if you give me just a second, I can look at yours.